second anime video of the day in the cut. Uh, so, like I said in the other video, which is my Baruto Chapter 2 review, I don't know when that's dropped in relation to this, but basically I'm going to be doing a uh, quicker format where I'll basically be just kind of speeding through reading the chapter the way I would normally read it instead of trying to digest all of it and it gives like formulated thoughts on every panel um and in that I'm uh not gonna be doing as much like in-depth coverage of every like line so if you like that format uh let me know if you don't you know also I haven't I've read every chapter but I don't think I've uploaded a video for every chapter I don't know why or what happened to some of those videos but I think the last one I've done was chapter 6, the one before this, so we're doing them in succession, even though I missed this one last month, so I'm kind of catching up to it. I don't know, dude. I've been all over the place, but we're catching up now. Uh, let's just get straight into the video. This is for heaven. Um... I didn't talk about it, so I guess I'd like to at least mention it. Um, usually, like... When it circles certain things, I think it usually matters, but in here, I think it's literally just like the O and O are just there, like happen to be in a certain spot in the page. I don't think it's like highlighting anything of importance here. Uh, if it was, I mean, it would just be, I guess, either the hands of Jodio, the belt buckle of, uh, at least it's, I believe his name's Poco, um, or for, we'll just call him Ooh, I forgot his name, but for Ooh, it's highlighting his book bag, the second O. I don't know if those are of relevancy. I mean, I know the book bag is relevant, or at least was in previous chapters. I don't know if Jodio's hands, uh, Poco's belt button, belt buckle, Dragona's like legs or part of her leg. I don't know if that matters very much. Um, so who knows? But we'll go straight into the next panel here. Let's see, Jungle Face Off Part Two. Looks like a not compass per se, but. I don't know what shape that is, but I'm sure it has relevancy. A nine-sided, a nine-pointed something. Your points connect to form a line. Maybe it is like compass adjacent. I don't know. I uh, shot a dog park for the translations. Uh, what could the goal of these cats be? I ask myself every time I go on Twitter, what is the goal of these cats, bro? What are they doing with their lives? Could you be after your diamond? It could just be after your bussy, Jodio. Could be after your bussy. It's a possibility. Um, but he's still stuck in the trap from earlier. Look at the definition of that tree. That's a very interesting looking tree. These trees look interesting. They're going to definitely be CGI whenever this is animated in 2047. There's a good chance it's trying to eat us. I don't think cats just try to eat people to the level of degree that... that do cats even eat people, period? I don't know if I've ever seen a cat eat somebody. I don't think that's something I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I thought Dragon was going to be Joe Star level. It's looking like a Joe bro right now. Not a, not a Joe Star. Maybe a complimentary Joe Star, a la senile Joseph Joe Star, but not a real Joe Star. Not, not a real one. The branch is out of my range. You know, I, did, I didn't think that stand would be one that had a real range per se, but I guess it does. The cat better not have taken the range into account and put me this far away on purpose. I will say, I mean, I think like these cats are. I mean, we've had animal stands in the past. Typically, an animal stand in this so story is under control of something. Like, the insects were under control of Toru. Uh, I say they weren't stands. They just were, like, very powerful insects that uh, Toru had. Um, the rock insects. I'm trying to think. I mean, Pet Stand or Pet Shop was definitely under the influence of Dio. Uh... Iggy was not, I mean, he was working with the good guys, but he wasn't necessarily in the control of somebody. I think typically a villain stand tend to be like sent by somebody and typically get their powers, you know, as a result of interacting with one of the villains, the human villains. So I don't know. I mean, that could be what's happening here. I don't think you just have a string of autonomous cat stands that just chose to come here, you know? I'm moving next to the trunk. Pop, you have to stay right under me. Don't stay out of the way of my cover. So yeah, basically the the water was able to kind of put away the strings for the time being. 
If you can hear the dudes outside, I'm sorry. Um, my the hustle. Is that real? Do you really have to say it? <laughs> is that a real translation? Is is my the hustle? Not is my hustle. I know it's the name of a stand, and the stand's name is the hustle, but that's just weird to me. I don't know. Is my the hustle? That's a little bit goofy. Interesting translation. I wonder how that comes over in actual Japanese. All right, let's see. You're going to walk. You're going to just get like lacerated with damn strings. He's like, yeah, just just walk. You're going to. Just keep it pushing. Um, let me see. Paco has like a little bracelet with his own name on it. That's pretty cool. Not really, but um. All right, so we're looking at this. So, Paco is holding up Dragona. Uh, the wires appear to be have just missed. I guess. I don't know what this, this is like his foot, I guess. You know, he has like control over his muscles and stuff like that, but I guess it's his foot trying to grab onto the tree. He's like strafing the tree almost. So I guess, oh no, it wasn't his, it was his like back, I guess. I guess that was his back. If you go back over here, it's like his back muscles are like, because okay, so they didn't even need his feet, I suppose. Um, they all have pretty similar shoes, by the way. I just kind of... Well, at least these two have some pretty similar shoes. Let's see. Unless that's like... I think it's making... That might be his shoes. It's making like a, a reference to say like he's climbing up. But they appear like obviously have pretty similar shoes, all things considered. Um, I'll cut the wire on your ankle first. Swing, towards, swing your body towards me so I can get your ankle. Okay. Is it dodging him? I thought it looks like it was dodging him. It's a pretty interesting uh, design for a cut. Very striking. Like a diamond almost in his face. You're getting fucked up by cats right now, by the way. It's just something sobering to think about. We've had these massive, powerful villains. You know, Jobin, Toru, Dio, Poochie. And right now, like, a cat is just fucking them up. These guys are aware of the effect of range. And super cats out here. Super cat, super cat, super cat, oh. <laughs> do they correct the strings by, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's how they do it. So is it like basically like fur, super powered fur? Or are they even animals? Okay. They already coming from the side. We thought the wires were flying, so I was up wind, up wind. The way things are now, they come from above, but they don't even use the wind at all. That's a that's an evil looking ass cat, dude. Which, I mean, most cats to me seem evil. His eyes do not exactly seem normal. They probably do something like clip their damn tails or something. I don't even know. They like clip their tails, and that's how they'll get out of here. Some kind of something goofy like that. Oh, it is GGs in the chat, boys. Or at least it should be GGs. I would think. You know, they're all. Pretty wrapped up, neat and decent little looking over here. I think you're going to try to get away, but, uh, you know, I don't think she did. You know, I'm calling her she. I know it's not a she, but, man. God damn, bro. This not these eyes are being popped up. Golly. Jodeo, no kind of movement. Dude was like a hamburger out there, bro. No kind of motion. Uh... My man's getting his damn eyeballs fucking squeezed out. There's like a fucking cartoon out there, bro. So the scissors are not helping shit, bro. I'm sorry to tell you. Smooth operators. The most useless stand in the world so far. Yeah. Nah, but that's... They're getting fucked up. Bro's eyes are literally popping out his fucking skull. Scissors got fucking broken. This dude has some damn Dollar General scissors. Some damn botany scissors. This bro thought he was like actually cutting those damn wires. That's tough, man. They're finished. November rain. Uh, probably not within an effective range or some shit like that. I'm sure. So they were they were within the range of of my guy. He like I think he swung himself over a little bit to kind of get in a range. I don't know. Uh, let me see. 
All right, so he kind of angled himself up towards the trees, spewed his rain, which they were obviously not, you know, ready for. And uh, one of them got beaned. And like, oh my god, my fucking homie! He got fucking beaned by water. It's only that one cat's wires. So they gotta obviously kind of have I, maybe some control over it to do anything. Holy shit! Look at that panel. That is like some comic shit, dude. That's some that's some good shit, bro. That is some good shit. Damn, dude. Look at like the just detail, like how vicious the face looks. Like that's just menacing what he's doing with those faces. Yeah. Rocky, bro. That, that's some real definition there. That, that terrified me too. Dragona should have bled out a long time ago. I know you can say that about a lot of JoJo characters, but like Dragona should be out of here by this point. Damn. Bro got put in a web like Spider Man came through. Wait, so the net caught onto them as well? Or is it like a different net? I guess it's the same net. I guess he just kind of angled it in a way where he could catch uh, the other two as well. Yeah, they should be out of here, bro. I mean, Dragona broke ass leg. I mean, could probably maybe slide out of there. Wag and try to. <laughs> We're gonna call him, we call him Wagona. Wagona. And I met him, not her. Shout out to Wagona. Um, but yeah, they're they're in a fucking pincer attack, dude. Dude, even Miles Morales didn't get that off. And of course, he came back, which you know we all expected. Uh, I think his name is Umagi. Ooh, we'll call it Ooh. Ooh came back, I suppose. Saved the fucking day. Josio. <laughs> They got outclassed, dude. Completely outclassed. Usagi, my bad. Usagi saved their fucking lives. They were finished, dude. Is he crying? What the hell? Boko, what the fuck? You just hate this dude like five seconds ago? What's something you want? Pink, say one. The Math Kudasai will turn to a fake of it. You want the net, though, don't you? I don't mean the internet. I'm talking about a net we can use to catch these guys and kick their asses. Sometimes the humor in this this damn series, you know? Sometimes. It's not like I got cold feet or went, ran away for nothing. Like, yeah. He's kind of like Usopp, I feel like. You know, he's about to actually explain it. Okay, let's let's tap in. You know about my burger, right? Yeah, the burger. That That's every single one of those fucking dudes on your team. They're burgers. <laughs> there was a hamburger at the car with us on a seat in the paper bag. I... I've got right here. I bought it at the airport, airport thinking I'd probably eat it later. Cheese and pineapples. Which you know how burgers have a meat pack between the buns. I went back to the car to get that meat. Pause. And those cats have already eaten the same meat. I've already won this shit. I broke up the burger and fed it those cats before they even climbed the tree. Wait, what? Thinking I'd probably eat it later. I went back to the car to get the cats. I've already eaten that meat. How did he know they... When did they eat the meat? Did they eat that on uh, page? That wasn't like off off panel. That they ate the meat. I don't remember them eating meat. I don't remember them eating anything at all. Instead of trying to eat fucking these three dickheads. I was super into the idea of putting drugs in the burger and making them eat that. So I thought about it for a bit. But you know what? I wanted to do like an experiment. Uh, okay. Is he wearing leggings? That's, that's not his actual skin color. What is anyway? Fuck a little Rohan head. Caviar sturgeon eggs to be is that can they? That, they could clearly understand English apparently. Is everyone's favorite cats went crazy over it? A beluga sturgeon takes twenty whole years to hit adulthood. Just forty grams of this stuff can go for four hundred bucks. That's some pretty good uh, loud. If you eat it in a hotel in Waikiki, the price could be double that. Which I guess they're explaining now, like how we got to this point, like the the, the power or the you know the fucking. Because I mean, I had a theory that value mattered to what these stands wanted, to some, or these cats wanted to some degree. Uh, they were chasing very important shit, and then even like the diamond, which is like the most valuable thing, kept all falling out of the book bag. 
So I had a couple theories behind that in previous videos that uh, you can find in the JoJo Lena playlist. Uh, or the JoJo. I think the playlist is named JoJo Lena. But it's like just a JoJo playlist in general. Uh, let's see. I missed it to my hamburger. Fed these cats when they were on the ground earlier. How about we see what happens? Some shit with value that's obviously been omnipresent since they've gotten here. So why does your girl the ones to say I want a nut? Why can't anybody else say I want a nut? Giat over here. Giat. Uh, let me take a screenshot of it. Maybe I can make that work. Giat. Anyway. Raw Giat. <laughs> I wanted that. Okay, Pink. The most ass stand of all time. is. Just, I will say one thing. Like, People can say like the stands are like less cool than they used to be when like they used to like just you know stop time and you know punch things really fast. But like the writing Araki has done to make these less powerful stands narratively interesting and important has been like really impressive. Like a stand that literally can only create what other people or recreate what other people want can on paper sound fucking boring and terrible. But Araki has done a fairly good job in two instances now of making that power, like, matter. Uh, so he dropped the lava rock, the pumice, as I like to call it. I mean, net notwithstanding, which obviously the net matters. He dropped the lava rock. And then when they were about to attack him, they basically, their bodies adjusted to chase the rock instead. It seems like it's probably involuntary in some degree, but basically anything valuable is pulled towards the rock. More or less. And that was the theory that uh Usagi was offering off of. I wonder if they're wild. They're definitely fucking feral, so twenty four carat diamonds only to start, it was just an excuse. Don't tell others what I told you about that lava, okay? I wonder if you can really trust your friends, only one who knows. I wonder if I were you. Keeping a secret might not be that easy. My man got a powerful eye. It's a powerful eye depiction. It's like almost my star level. Not really. But like it's it's pretty good. It looks like something had been watching that villa since before any of us even arrived on Hawaii Island. So yeah, basically, um my operating theory is that somebody kind of sicked the cats on Rohan to get that lava rock. Um, and that could be a possibility. Uh, I'm not going to really go too much deeper into that. I thought it was a pretty good, uh, pretty interesting little chapter. I mean, kind of makes Usagi seem a little bit more relevant, so that's cool. Um, he had a moment, and, um, not really much else to say. I mean, we're still in kind of, like, world-building part of it. I'm still not too close to these guys yet, you know, this new cast, but uh, I'm having fun, you know, I'm, I'm sticking in there, and I hope you guys are sticking with, with me as well, you know, while I kind of figure all this stuff out but uh i'm gonna get this edited posted and we're gonna move on to chapter eight the newer one and just keep on going